Hey there Clashers and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a throwback match from the NDL with some Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 attacks. Oh, there we go. We got the first attack of the match. Balls and arrow coming in with some zaps. Looks like he took out an air defense and maybe a couple of archer towers. We do have another attack going on in the background. We're going to watch this one, see how it plays out. A couple of early balloons on the Tesla. He's got a golem in behind the queen, or in front of the queen, rather. King's coming in as well. He's got a skelly spell down to help distract some of these Teslas and the enemy queen. He's got the wall opened up. King, King and queen will push in. Got the CC coming out. We got some super barbarians and a baby dragon. Poison spell down to help take care of those. Looks like his king did go down. Super barbs are going down to the poison. Now the queen can work on this baby dragon and continue to push in. She should be able to pick up that air defense and the wizard tower. Gets that double cannon down. And here we go. Lalo coming in from the top side of the base. We got a few early balloons to that cannon. Here comes the lava hound. Town Hall 9, the Lava Hound looking tiny. Here come some more balloons from the top side. Haste spell is in. Got the CC Lava Hound coming in from the right. More balloons. And the Lala is going to come in and collapse around this core. More balloons from the bottom right side. Wizard Towers are going down. We got that double expo in the core, but the balloons are making their way in there. He still has a heal spell and a haste he can use. There's the haste. I don't think he's even going to need this heal spell. Last few defenses going down. Archer Tower is going to drop. So the only question is going to be if he has enough cleanup to get through the base in time. He does have some minions and pups working on these buildings around the base. He's got all the storages still left up in the core. But these balloons will slowly make their way around. Some of the pups are distracted on the king at the moment. Dark Elixir storage goes down. And this is looking good for the three stars. Still has over 50 seconds left. Time's not going to be an issue here. Clan Castle drops. Town Hall drops. And the last storage goes down for the three star. Nicely done. Let's hop out and see what that other attack's doing. And then, so Flex Boy, first attack coming in for Crime Capitals. They're going for that 9v9 triple. Let's see if they can get it done. So we dropped in some early zaps. Got some funneling going on. Queen's coming in from the right side. We got the wall opened up as well. He's got two healers here. He's going to drop him on a queen. She's going to fight the enemy queen. Get her taken out. Pops his queen's ability. King's coming in as well. Looks like he's going to let his queen walk around the outside on the top. Pops his king's ability early, gets the CC lured out. We got wizards and a baby dragon. Poison to help take care of that. This queen's still pushing through. Baby dragon takes out the king. But he's going to die to the poison. He does have one wall breaker left. But here comes the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. There's the haste spell to get these balloons into the base. They gotta fight through that first sweeper. It's gonna be a little bit annoying here. More balloons around the top side. He drops the rage on the top as well. The balloons making their way in towards the core. They can finally get that sweeper out of the way. And they won't have to deal with that anymore. Wizard Tower goes down. Just needs to get through these expos. He's gonna drop the heal spell in the core of the base. Get these balloons healed back up. And that hound is tanking the expo nicely. Last wizard tower goes down. Hopefully that hound can get out in front of these balloons and get some damage from the expo. Would be nice to get those cleanup troops on the field. It's going to find a Sam as well, so we will get some more lava pups. It's going to help speed up the cleanup. But he's got plenty here. He will be able to get through with the triple here. So both teams able to close out the Town Hall 9s. Very nicely done. Lots of pups lots of minions getting this cleanup done very quickly nicely done
Got the first 10v10 of the match. We got life coming in with this attack. He's got seven P.E.K.K.A.s, seven hogs. Interesting army comp here. Let's see. He's got the quad quake on the top side. And he's just going to send these P.E.K.K.A.s straight on in. Some wizards to help behind. King and queen in. We got some bowlers out of the clan castle as well. Lava hound and a balloon in the clan castle to deal with. He does have that poison there. So Pekka's pushing their way in. Queen's going to pop the Lava Hound here. And the Balloon should go down to the poison shortly. There we go. Balloon's out of the way. Pups are out of the way. Pekka's are moving their way through the base. We have a jump spell as well. But the pathing for the Pekka's is a little bit weird. Plus we have the bowlers all the way up on the top side. He drops that jump down there in the core of the base. So Pekka's still moving their way through. Doesn't even look like these Pekka's can die out. He's got a freeze for the single Inferno. He still has those hogs in the bag. He's going to start dropping them in now. Got the Tesla farm on the bottom side of the base. I didn't even see where those hogs went. He's used five of them, but I don't see them anywhere. But the Pekka's still moving through. Still have the bowlers as well. Still have Queen's ability. I think it's safe to say that this is looking good for the triple. Two more hog riders from the bottom side. I think that Tesla farm may have wiped out the other hog riders. Pekka's finally getting low on health, but the base is already gone. Nice attack here from life. Interesting. Mad Heifer, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And there we go. Crime Capitals putting a triple on the board. And here we go. Next 10v10 is in. Crime Capitals coming in with their next attack. This time we got a Lalo. It's got five Skelly spells. Interesting. Just one healer. Oh, he's going for a Skelly Donut. Okay. He's going to use the Freeze on the Expo and the Bomb Tower. He's got the Rage Spell and the Skellies to take down the Clan Castle and the Sweepers, maybe? They get one Sweeper? Can they get the Expo? I don't think so. No. But he gets the Clan Castle out of the way. He gets a Sweeper out of the way as well. He's got the King and Queen coming in from the left side of the base. He's got that one healer to help support the Queen. It's kind of like having a Unicorn, I guess. Maybe not so much. <laughs> Queen's taking a lot of damage here. Gonna pop her ability. She'll make her way up. Secure the town hall with the king. King's gonna do some tanking. Can this healer actually heal the queen back up a bit? Looks like it is. So the queen's gonna continue on. She should head up and join with the king. And here come some balloons. Queen is gonna go down to the expo. Here comes the Lalo from the top side of the base. He's going to freeze up the sweeper. Haste spell in. Wizard tower should drop. There we go, maybe. Finally, the wizard tower goes down. Balloons can start making their way into the core of the base. He's got a heal spell left. More balloons from the right side. Got pups and minions around the outside. See that heal spell coming down here in the core. Balloons are getting low to the red air bombs. We've got that wizard tower as well. There's the heal spell. They're going to make their way into the wizard tower and the multi inferno. The heal should be enough to keep these balloons up through these last defenses. Expo goes down. They're going to take their time getting to that multi. Can they get to it in time though? They're going to head to it now. Multi will drop. And this is looking good for the triple from Dark Soul. Tesla drops. Archer towers go down. And this will be enough for the three star for Crime Capitals. And they are on a roll at the moment. Last few buildings are going down. We'll hang out here until another live attack goes on. It's just a matter of cleanup. The last few trash buildings are going down now. And here we go. Next live attack is in. 
Let's pop back out of there. And we got the first 10v10 from Tuzin. And they're coming in with a Lalo as well. He's got a couple of Skelly spells, not as many this time. He's clearing out a path for the heroes to go in from 6 o'clock. He's got a dragon and a witch to deal with out of the CC. You can drop, drop the poison for them. King has to go to ability soon. It's getting low. Queen's going to help get rid of that dragon. There's the king's ability. Dragon finally goes down. And he's got the wall opened up for the queen to go to the right, but I don't think she's going to go that direction. No, she's going to continue to go left. She gets targeted by that single inferno. It's going to drop in a haste on the bottom side and start the Lalo from there. So pop the queen's ability. She's going to get taken out by the single now, but here comes the Lalo. Let's see if he can get through. He's got a Lava Hound out of the CC working his way in from the right. Got the Rage Spell in the core, freezes up the Queen, drops in the Double Skelly Spell. So that's going to take care of the enemy Queen. Balloons making their way in, he's going to heal in the core. they got to fight through that Sweeper, he's going to use the Haste to help get them through. More Balloons from the top side, it's not looking too bad. we got another Live in the background, but we're going to wait and see if this one's going to be able to pull through. Still has plenty of time on the clock, he's got a Haste Spell to use. Balloons slowly but surely pushing their way through. They just got to get through the Expo and the Wizard Tower here. They got the air defense as well. It's going to want to drop that haste soon. Air defense goes down. There's the haste. They get to the cannon, go through the Wizard Tower. And I believe he's got it. This will be a triple. Let's back out and see what else is happening. Their other 10v10 is in as well. This one's also going to be a Lalo. Crime put up triples on both of the Town Hall 10s. Let's see if Tuzin can do the same thing. He's got the Queen pushing in from the right side. King running around on the outside. Clearing out some trash buildings. Queen gets the air defense. She gets through the cannon. She'll pop her ability for this Inferno Tower. Looking good. She does find the Tesla there. She'll get the Inferno down. And here comes the Lalo from the top. Balloons making their way in. He's got a lot of spells to work with. Double poison as well. Queen beats through the wall. She'll get those storages. I think the Expos are going to take her out. But the Lalo coming in. We do have the CC troops coming out now. Got a witch and a dragon to deal with. Balloons get through the Inferno Tower. Finding a red air bomb there. Not a big deal so far. Pups are going to help take care of that dragon with the poison. More balloons in from the bottom side. He still has two haste and a freeze to work with. And this is looking good for Tano. There's the first haste. He's got one more haste he can use. He still has a freeze he could use. I don't think he's going to need either one of them. They get through the wizard tower. And then the only defenses left are the sweeper and the Tesla. Just find some skellies there. Not going to be an issue. There's the haste. Gets them through the last few defensive buildings. And this will be a triple. So let's back out and see the next live attack coming in hot. And the winner is going to be Crime Capitals by two buildings. And there we have it. Some lower Town Halls participating in the league matchup. The Town Hall 11s just weren't quite able to get the triples in there. But nice job by both teams here. And GG's to Crime Capitals for getting the win. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more Clash content from me, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will catch you all next time.